Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Eker, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a new tombstone workaround if you guys are struggling with doing the portal method or scorcher flying to try to get out of the map. There is a much easier way that does not involve using your scorcher or the portal. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and let's get on in today's video. If you guys are looking for a Discord to join, I recommend joining my Discord, link will be in description, or free schematic drops and tons of help in the zombies community, whether it's doing story missions, having fun, grinding out containment levels and all of that good stuff. So make sure you guys do check out my Discord, link will be in description. I want to give a huge shout out to Airy1 for finding out this glitch. He did find this glitch a couple of days ago and it is working as Old. It is a very good glitch and in my opinion, I think it is much easier than trying to get timing down on the Scorcher and it's pretty easy once you learn how to do it. The only requirements you guys are going to need is Tombstone every single game and we are going to need the Blood Burner Keys. If you guys do not have the Blood Burner Keys schematic unlock, like I said, join my Discord or you'll find me live on Twitch, streaming schematic drops, dropping the Blood Burner Keys, the Mags of Holding, and the VR11 schematic for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. If you guys are looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar, Borealis, Hard Unlocked, or even play in bot lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, or even the instant delivery pre-made accounts, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They include tons of legitimate services for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and have over 10,000 Trustpilot page reviews. Be sure to use code Eker for 5% off. Don't forget, act fast. So you can see right there, we just spawned in our blood burner. Now this is going to be key to the glitch. Once you guys do have your blood burner spawned in, you wanna make sure you are over in the top right hand corner of the map. You can see over here, this is where we are currently and we just want to go ahead and park it up next to some of these pebbles or these rocks over here in this area. This is going to help do the glitch. Now that you have your blood burner and your tombstone and you feel comfortable doing the water glitch, where you are on the vehicle. For example, pressing X, hopping right back in, boom, teleport straight back to where we are. We're gonna go ahead and take advantage of this with the tombstone glitch. What I mean by that is you can see I have tombstone on my screen. I have everything I wish to have in my rucksack. So this is all the items I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my essence and everything as well. So if we go ahead and go into the water one more time, get it all set up correctly, go ahead and exit, hop back in, boom, bam. We are glitched right back on the map. So now you're gonna go ahead and follow me in doing this super easy method of getting your tombstone set up. I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the water. Then from here, we're gonna make sure we do not touch any land. You're gonna follow this exact little line that I am doing on the map currently to make our way over to tier three or where the countermeasures is going to be. We're gonna go ahead and park our vehicle right here onto the rocks, like I said. And this is going to make this glitch super easy to do. We'll go ahead and show you guys the marker one more time before we go over there. We're going to want to position it just like so. So we go ahead and make our way over to the water right now. We have started the glitch. What I mean by that is we do not want to have our vehicle touch any land or anything on the ground. You want to make sure you take it wide, take it out, stay in the water just like so. You can see me on the map currently just making my way around. So we'll go ahead and speed this part up just so you guys do not have to watch me literally drive in the water. Now that we have passed into the tier 2 zone and we still haven't touched any of the land yet, we are getting near our marker. If you guys want to, make sure you have some decoy grenades on as it's going to make this super easy for you guys to go to tier 3. So we're making our way right up to the little gravel pieces right here. This is where you want to place your vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and just place it like so. And all we're going to do is run up to the countermeasures. Then from here, we're going to activate it and run super fast back into the water. You can see right here, we just entered into the anomaly. We're gonna go ahead and throw another decoy grenade down. Get all those zombies all happy, enter into the blood burner, and then slowly let it go back into the water. Once it is back into the water like so, and it's just enough of the way, press X to get out, press X to enter, and you can see we have teleported to the edge of the map. Go ahead and get your blood burner ready to go where you think you are comfortable. Go ahead and vote yes. 
now from here, when you get to about six seconds, you will be good to go out of the map. You can see right here, the timer is going down and we're about to get teleported and boom, squad eliminated. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until you get that black screen, just like so, right there, searching for a match. Go ahead and close out your game, load back in, and we will A, have everything that we just had in our tombstone, as well as everything duplicated in the game for us. What I mean by that is when we go back onto the main screen, you're going to see that we still kept our weapon, we still kept all of our items in our rucksack, and whatever extras we had on us. So if we go over to zombies really quick, you can see that we will have all of our items, and when we go back into a new game, we will still have our tombstone. So if we check our gear, boom, we have all of our items. I messed up the glitch, unfortunately, for the loadout, so I did lose my weapon. You want to make sure you are out of bounds at 6 seconds on the timer. You do not want to do this where I messed up, trying to go super fast and messing up the glitch. You want to make sure you are out of bounds at 6 seconds. I'm going to put it on screen right now for you guys. 6 seconds is key to keep your loadout. And as you can see, loading back into our next game, our tombstone is still here set up for us and it's always going to be here every single game. And you can see in our rucksack we have all of the items that we did not use. Yes, we did lose our blood burner, so I would make sure you keep an extra one in your tombstone to keep glitching it over and over again. But make sure if you guys do want to keep your weapons or your loadout, you want to always exit at six seconds just like the out of bounds glitch just like the portal glitch you want to make sure you time it at six seconds it can be a little tricky at first as you can see i messed up because i'm a bad glitcher but we still have our tombstone we still have everything in our loadout we have our kill streak and all of that so if we go ahead and check our tombstone stash you can see all of our stuff is still here we kept our essence and we are good to go and rinse and repeat this glitch over and over again Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do have any questions at all, either A, join my Discord with some of the best help in the game, or comment down below, and I will try to help you as best as I can. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. As always, love you guys. Peace.